Good morning, community. I feel like a, a tribalist by doing this. We're going to talk very quickly because I don't want to take up any of your time as to how you want to grow the agile community in Brazil. We're talking about who we are. And I'll bet that some of you makes uh, a, a confusion between the conference and Agile Brazil, and I'll show you what it is in a, in a jiffy. What is the purpose, what we do, and the most important part, how you can make a contribution. Then, who are we? <coughs> we are the Agile Alliance Brazil. We are linked to Global Agile Alliance, and we have uh, the Agile Alliance of New Zealand, who sent us a message, which message states, their mission of taking agility events to small centers is working, and they're very happy to be a part of a global community. The idea being that we increasingly have alliances throughout the world, and this is only the beginning. Who are we? Those beautiful people over yonder on the screen, Sassy, Erika, Mota, who's not here with us today, myself, Conceu Bravo and his Bravo, which means fierce. Uh, he's not fierce at all. And Mota, this is his last year with the Lions. We have a three Peer, uh, three year incumbency at the board and Albino was elected for the next year for the next incumbency Albino wherefore art thou so somebody tell Albino that we applaud at him also the, the the audit committee is here Vitor Hugo I know is here there it is and uh, Celso Celso is our director Charles is our administrative head, and uh, he uh, helps us in our crashes. We are an alliance, a nonprofit organization, and we are committed to helping people who explore, apply, and experience uh, agile uh, practices and principles, working on solutions involving software construction or not. It doesn't have to be only applied to software. This became abundantly clear this week. And more uh, sustainable, humane uh, deliverables. We support the organization of Agile Brazil. Evidently, uh, those who do it are you. We just provide support. We do administrative uh, management and the real board, talking to legal communication and, and other bureaucracies. We provide, we integrate, support, support, and are really excited with the idea that you're participating with us in community initiatives. And the, the, the cool part is to talk about the initiatives, for which reason I'm going sense. We talk about alliances and uh, what we really would like to do worldwide as an alliance, as agile alliances, was to help grow and bring uh, agility beyond. One conference does not suffice. It, is, it does not suffice. It is not enough. And what we do is we have a program of initiatives at the Global Agile Alliance and in Brazil Agile Alliance. Some international initiatives, not all, but there's about 16 we would like to bring to you as international options for everybody to use, including the Brazilian audiences. Vitor Hugo handles this at the Alliance, Agile Alliance International, and he was telling us how few users there are about these initiatives that are already available. Reimbursement of lecturers, you want to bring a lecturer to your event, but you have no way of paying him. You can request financial aid to Agile Alliance International to bring those people over, paying for transportation and uh, housing expenses in the uh, lodging spaces, open space technology. And uh, we have to learn how to organize the event and to really have hands-on experience, really put up 
come up with the money for the coffee breaks and so forth. There's an initiative for that and a very cool initiative for of experience reporting where you write up your report, uh, a, a, a short paper, a report, a more formal report on anything that you have experienced in, true, in truth and you will have a chance of publishing that to the community openly and also presenting it in international conferences. So these are three of the 16 or 15, 16 programs available at Agile Alliance International. We also have uh, initiatives at the Agile Alliance in Brazil and one of the fronts that we really would have to develop uh, more initiatives are these. First front is the growth of agility, that is to say, take agility to groups or to sites or places which do not have such a community, which community has not uh, ad, uh, uh, achieved enough traction. And one of the manners of doing it is in this idea of expansion are the small events. We help small events and uh, to, to run. And I would like you to talk, give us a couple of words about your experience with the Agile in Joinville. Good morning, folks. You have no idea how satisfactory it is to be here addressing you on an initiative that appeared in Berlin during a lecture which was exactly like this one. And really, I encourage you to have your idea, take it from the paper and check whether your community is lacking and any information about agility and that you are actually able to take this to your community. How did this appear? I initially talked to Celso and he presented me to introduce me to Agile Floripa. I joined the community as a volunteer. I participated for two years working on uh, observing how it worked and in 2019 this year we created a structure. We are now eight members and we currently have uh, uh, monthly uh, meetings and an annual conference. Well, there's an interesting point where you have an entire structure to support you in the creation of these communities. So take this opportunity, enjoy it, ask them for support or get in contact with me because we have myriad experiences in myriad activities and we can help you out. This is about the size of it, it's very gratifying to be a part of the team, and I encourage you to create these communities. Thank you all. Uh, let me call Fab Fabio Dijon. Well, my bad. I'm ashamed of these things, but all is well and good. What we wanted by bringing you here uh, about Joinville is that there is a community person. There are eight people in the local community who de uh, decided to mobilize themselves and we're here to provide support for them to take this idea from paper, make them fly. Languages Agile is running this for a number of years. We're not calling them small events anymore. It is much bigger than a small event. There is another front which is deepening initiatives. We practice agility already. Uh, you know, they want to, to hone their acts and is uh, the initiatives that we have for uh, deepening uh, ideas is the uh, Agile Coach Camp and we have up to 30 people meeting together. There's an, there are experiences to be exchanged but to talk in depth about other, other themes Bozin is there, he's the, another director, initiative director. He has run two editions of great success, agile.com.br, 
you will see what they created in terms of content in these, uh, in these meetings. The other thing that we're doing, we're also doing another front, is to pull together industry and academia through VDMA. Uh, let me hope that at least one of you has, uh, has watched the, the uh, uh, workshop on agile methods at WTMA in the, the conference. And I would be very happy every time that the university professors request that we uh, divulge and disseminate their master's degree thesis and research. This is very important to us to meet academia and industry. And then uh, minority groups, support to minority groups. Oh, this year we have the, um, the product women meeting. They delivered a conference and we supported them as we support other small events. However, with a focus on diversity on a minority group. Okay, very good. What I would like to propose to you now is this. Our presentation is over. Right now, this slide is only talk to us and so on and so forth. We are available at the lounges this afternoon. So if you have an idea and you're too bashful to bring it up, uh, sit with us, talk to us. But we would very much like to resort to this uh, collective knowledge and your collective energy to discuss these four fronts in the half hour we have left in this presentation. So this is an, an invitation. If expanding, if growing agility is what interests you, you step right up and talk to people who are interested in this via this flip chart, okay? Growth over yonder. If you're interested in deepening agility and delivering initiatives that will drive you to another level in Brazil, the generation of Brazilian content to design for another uh, for, for international publics, the national audience, the back flip chart on the right on the left hand of the of the hall. If you're interested in academia and industry, if you're particularly interested in this, if you're doing your master's degree, if you're pursuing your master's degree, and this is what you would like to do, that flip chart will be the focus of discussion of industry and uh, academia. And this is for minority groups, not only for gender, any minority group that still requires support because society, in a word, does not endow them with the self-same opportunities. Let's go start chatting. At the end, I'm going to raise my hand, this, like this, and you join, uh, so that we can come back here to our focus and people uh, present very quickly what their idea is and an make up an initial committee for this initiative, okay? Expansion, deepening, WDMA, and minority groups.